what's up y'all i said what's up y'all look at me when i'm talking to you bro nah i'm just messing with y'all man this your boy knockout boxing 86 tv and we in here so check this out bro before we get going on our video smash the like button subscribe to the channel if you're new here share the video turn on your uh, notifications and don't forget that i'm live monday wednesday and thursday night 7 30 p.m central time and we also live every sunday morning with the singing og KQKC Boxing Network, Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, man. Uh, and please join the channel. Drop the super chats. Drop the super thanks, cash apps. Everything that you do to support the, the channel monetarily is going to allow me to spend more time making content for y'all. We're trying to grind it out. We're trying to make this channel grow and make it bigger. And in order to do that and keep this great pace up that we have going, I need you guys to do those things so I can spend more time on the channel. But uh, let's get to it, bro. Devin Haney is not happy with Vasily Lomachenko because he don't feel like Vasily Lomachenko is doing his part to sell their fight. Let's talk about it. So he said, uh, Loma doesn't want to sell the fight. I knew he would be quiet. He should stay quiet. He's on his way out. Goodbye. I don't care to watch any of these guys from the lightweight division. I don't care to focus on them because they got to go through me. I hold the keys to the lightweight division. Everything runs through me. I'm the one who put structure into the lightweight division. It was all email this and that. One belt over here, that belt over there. When Devin Haney came, he said it straight. Oh, shit. So I'm the boss. I run the lightweight division. You want something in the lightweight division? You got to go through me. Devin popping his shit. Damn, Devin. Ooh, big boy talk. Big boy talk. Now, if you want to be a champion, shit, go through Devin Haney. That's a fact. <laughs> like, ain't, ain't no way around it, bro. You want to be a world champion right now in the lightweight division, as long as he got all them belts, you got to go through Devin. That ain't no cap in that rap right there. That's 100% fact. Now, he's saying that he don't care <laughs> about anybody in the lightweight division, and he don't care to watch them. Well, he had the Tank Davis fight. <laughs> and when he wasn't at the Tank Davis fight against Ryan Garcia, wasn't he at the Hector Luis Garcia? Wasn't he tweeting, live tweeting about Tank cheating and shit and all kind of shit when Tank was fighting Hector Luis Garcia? Didn't he, wasn't he tweeting the, the update to that fight live time, like live and shit? Didn't like, so he went, and so you don't care about nobody in the lightweight division. But you was at Tank Davis' fight, which I love that he went to the fight. And then you was live tweeting about his last fight. And you clearly was paying attention because it just so happened that you made sure you had your media day during the week of Tank Davis' fight week on the Ryan Garcia so some of that press will rub off on you. You don't be paying attention, but somehow you made sure to drop that Hector Luis Garcia sparring footage the six days before Tank Davis fought Hector Luis Garcia. So we know that that's not true, but you, you see what I'm saying, bro, about these two fighters? I just keep getting proven right over time, over and over and over again. The tapes age like fine wine over and over and over and over again. They say shit about each other, bro. They despise each other so bad in terms of in that boxing ring. I don't think it's no real beef, bro. I think this is boxing beef, meaning they just want fights. You know what I'm saying? They don't like each other like that. They ain't never going to go to dinner after the fight. You know what I mean? They ain't never going to sit down at the club and share a bottle of champagne together or some shit. You know what I'm saying? If they ever get inducted to the Hall of Fame during the same, same week or whatever, they ain't sitting at the same table, bro. Like, they ain't friendly is what I'm telling y'all. But... Their dislike of each other makes both Tank Davis and Devin Haney say shit about each other or say shit in reference to each other that we know is just not true. Like, we know that Devin is paying attention to people in the lightweight division. Hell, he just tweeted about Frank Martin. He just tweeted about Frank Martin. He's, he's going to Tank fights and live tweeting during his fights. Bro, we know that you watch the other fighters in the lightweight division, and there's nothing wrong with that. But what's wrong, but what is wrong is when you try to cap about the shit, bro. And he disliked Tank so bad, he don't want to give him no credit. He picking Ryan Garcia to beat him. Bro, like, they got to fight. Tank Davis calling that man the email champ when Devin put 
weight on that belt. Tank Davis called him the email champ when Devin had defended his belt already multiple times. Devin didn't choose to be elevated. He was elevated because the person that had the belt did not fight him, bro. And so he got elevated to WBC champion. So, you know, Tank Davis saying that shit about him. You know what I mean? Devin Haney's team passing around mugshot. I felt like they do a lot of shit that's kind of fugazi to each other. And I don't think they fugazi people. It's just they not going to keep it real when it comes to giving each other their credit, bro. The only way Tank is going to get credit from Devin is if Tank take it in that ring. The only way Devin going to get credit from Tank is if he take it in that ring and then make the best fights, bro. So... It's statements like that as to why, man, we got to see this fight, bro. So that's it on the whole. He don't pay no attention to nobody. Like, bro, stop. We know you paying attention, dog. I don't watch nobody, bro. Stop. We know you watching. Stop the cat, bro. Now, what he said about Loma, right? What he said about Loma. Look, man, I feel what Devin Haney is saying because Devin want it all, bro. He want to be the world champion that he is. But he also want big fights. It's good. Like, and it's not like I don't want no, but this is not a shot, bro. There's nothing wrong with him wanting to have that lime like that tank got. There's nothing wrong with him wanting to have that lime like that Canelo got, that Manny had before them, that Floyd had before him, that Ray Leonard and Mike Tyson had before them. Like, there is absolutely 1000% nothing wrong with that, bro. So I understand the frustration when you feel like you got a dance partner. That ain't doing their part. Because Loma and, and a lot of people of the mind say, yo, the fight going to sell itself. Loma, like, I just care about fighting. I just care about undisputed and shit. But Devin is like, yo, I care about all that shit. But, bro, we got to, we need to pack out these arenas. Shit, I care about that shit. But I need these pay-per-view numbers to, like, go up. Like, Devin more a savvy business person in the business of boxing. You can just tell by his moves than what Loma is. Like, Devin ain't letting nobody... Loma been the top rank with a manager, he just cleaned it since he came out. Like, he cool with just, you know what I'm saying, fighting, trying to reach his goals. As long as you help him, you know what I'm saying, get the goals that he think he want inside the ring, he don't care nothing about all that extra shit. Well, Devin do. So Loma's inability or his unwillingness to try to help Devin sell the fight, bro, is making Devin frustrated with him. Because it's like, damn, bro, if you just talk, what if you get the whole country of Ukraine? Like, you, like... Loma could really help sell this fight if you think about it. He could, you know what I'm saying? He stayed behind in the war. Ukraine is looking for reasons to galvanize right now as a country with all the shit they got going on with Russia. And so he could use that shit and get a lot of Ukrainians and, and, and people of European descent. And then even Americans that that sympathize with what's going on in the Russia and the Ukraine and shit. Because you know America, we always in everybody's business. So we try to, you know, bully the bullies and shit and stick our noses and shit that ain't got nothing to do with us. We do that shit all the time. So people will, if he get, you know, if he if he use that little angle to try to help sell the fight, bro, it'll bring more eyes to it. He could definitely help bring a different fan base that just ain't going to gravitate towards Devin. So I understand why Devin is frustrated with that because he want it all. But this is where... You have to just make sure if you ain't need it and wanting it all. To, and I ain't got no doubt that he doing this, but I, it does need to be said. Just keep the main thing the main thing. Keep working hard in the gym. Make sure you're making weight properly. And make sure you're ready to go in there and defend your status as the undisputed lightweight champion of the world, bro. Don't get too caught up in the fact that you got a dance partner that ain't interested in selling. Because the fans, bro, such as myself, such as my brother BFTB, such as my brother KQKC, Dub Right Side, Everything Boxing, Money Brown TV, all my brothers, Ricky Williams, G5 Gabe, all my brothers that rock with me and I rock with them, right? We are all pushing you to get the tank fight next. So you got a push behind you. You got people that want to see you get those big fights that you want. Now, I think Tank going to beat your ass. You know what I mean? I think Tank going to knock your ass out. But I want you to get the fight. And if you beat his ass, bro, you get fooled. Motherfucking credit, but my pick is my pick, and I ain't changing it. I see what I see. Show me that what I see is the wrong shit. And cool, no problem. We move like that over here, but just make sure 
My only thing I would say is just make sure that you ain't getting too caught up in shit like that and that you more caught up in making sure you done train properly, making sure A, B, C, plan A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all that shit, solid, ready to work for you, cut weight, feel strong, feel good, and be able to go in there and, and do your thing because the low pay-per-view sales, that ain't going to that ain't gonna keep us from wanting to see Tank versus Devin. If if Devin and Loma do low pay per view, said that ain't gonna keep us from wanting to see the fight. The only thing that'll keep fight fans from wanting to see Tank Davis versus Devin Haney is if Devin Haney go in there and lose. So keep that the focus, keep pushing, and uh, you know, don't worry about Loma, bro. But I do understand though, cause Loma could do a lot more to sell this fight. But I would just say he ain't selling the fight, but he coming the fight. So you make sure you do the same. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Comment below, smash the like, sub to the channel, share the video, turn on your notifications. Don't forget I'm live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. You can also catch us live every Sunday morning with the Singing OG KQKC Boxing Network. Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Appreciate y'all watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out of here. Peace out, y'all.